Recently, I was lucky enough to have the chance to interview Annette Funicello, one of the original members of the Mickey Mouse Club at her home in Los Angeles. I had met Annette before, but since I hadn't seen her in a while, I was kind of nervous and anxious all over again. What I forgot is that Annette can make anyone feel totally comfortable. You'll see what I mean. Annette, I, I'm here talking with Annette Funicello, and I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for letting me visit. It's my Thank pleasure. You. Thank you. Um, first of all, how are you feeling? We're all thinking about you. How do you feel? I feel great. I, I really feel great. And great. from the waist up, you'd never know anything was wrong. I just have a problem walking. And, you know, that's because of the nerve endings. Right. And it's that MS thing, you know. Have the fans been supportive since you announced your fight with uh, multiple sclerosis? Oh, the outpouring of, of support and love. And I get, I get mass cards and prayers from all over the world. I mean, it's been overwhelming. As a matter of fact, the Disney studio every so often will package up a big, big envelope and they'll send it to me. Yeah. Were you surprised by how popular your show became? Yes. Whoever dreamed. I mean, here was a show in the 50s, mm -hmm. an hour show in black and white. And, um... No one ever dreamed. No one ever dreamed that a Mouseketeer would become a role model for so many children. How did you get selected to be on the Mickey Mouse Club? I was dancing in a little school recital, and Walt Disney was sitting in the audience unannounced. So he saw me dance, and then later called the dancing school to ask if they could bring in the little dark-haired girl for an audition. And, and that's neat. the way it happened. Do you remember the first time you saw the show on television? What was it like seeing the first show? We were on the road, as a matter of fact. We went out to promote. We were on a big bus. We got caught in a snowstorm. And our show was premiering um, in the evening. So we thought we'd make it back to the hotel. And we got stuck in the snow. Oh so there was a goodness. big delay and we thought, we're going to miss our show. We're going to miss the opening <laughs> oh, night of no. the show. So Jimmy Dodd said to the driver, let's just cruise until we find a home with a lot of bicycles outside. Maybe we can go in and see the show. So a Jimmy home Dodd... with a lot of bicycles. Uh -huh. Had to mean kids were there. Exactly. Okay. So Jimmy Dodd walked up and he knocked on the door and he said, Hi, I'm Jimmy Dodd and I've got a busload of Mouseketeers. And the people said, Yeah, right, right, you've got <laughs> Mouseketeers. He said, No, look in the bus, there they are. So they invited us in. We got to see our first show And these that people night. let you come into their home. And they called their neighbors, Hey, come on over, come <laughs> on over, we're going to see the show. What a story. Yeah. That's so Isn't neat. That's special. Nah. Walt Disney had quite an impact on my life, and I never even met him. What was it like just being around him and working with him? He was um, very supportive mm -hmm. of me. He, I found him to be very shy, mm -hmm. believe it or not. And he was just so down to earth, so easy to talk to, you know. I would ask him a couple of things from time to time, uh, like I wanted to change my name. No one could pronounce Funicello. And he said, no, young lady, you can't change you your can't name. You can't change your it's name. very melodious. And no, I like your name. What do you think Walt Disney would think of our show? Ours was a show of the 50s, mm -hmm. right? Right. Yours is a terrific show of the 90s. And I know that Walt Disney being so many years ahead anyway, he would think it's sensational. I know he would. I have to tell you, you've been such an inspiration to me. Who inspired you? If you're asking me who I respected more than anyone, I, of course, would say my mother. She was my role model. Um, I know how that is. My, yeah. my mother's one of my best friends. Me too. How do you feel about Mickey Mouse, and what kind of impact do you think he's had on the world? You know, I, I think that 
the word, the name Mickey Mouse, of mm -hmm. course, is known all over the world. Oh, and Walt over. Disney had such great insight mm -hmm. because he he puts a smile on, on the faces of all of us. And I read somewhere where his wife said, you know, as he was drawing this little mouse, and she said, honey, people are afraid of mice. I don't think it'll ever go over. Oh, and he no. said, yes, I think this one will. And of course it did. The Mickey Mouse Club means so much to me. I mean, it gave me my start. Mm -hmm. I owe everything to those ears. I was trying to think of a great way to close this piece, but then I, then I decided, how are we going to close this piece other yeah. than that? How can we? Now it's time, time to, to say goodbye to all our company. M-I-C. See you real soon. K-E-Y. Why? Because we love you. M O U S E. Annette, thank um, you so much. Mwah.